everyone, it's Muriel. I just wanted to come and share with you this pinwheel bridal bouquet that I created. I started it uh, last night by creating about uh, eight to ten pinwheels using my pinwheel punch board machine. And, um, and I know one of you um, asked for a tutorial on how to use the machine and I just need um, some time and I'll be more than happy but this is the pinwheel machine right here and if you want to do two layers you would measure um, put it, your paper along this side here it goes from 3 to 12 inches and if you want to do the other side then you would um, do another you know design paper along that side and that's how you get the two to um, be a double pinwheel but this is just a single uh, pinwheel that I did and um, it came out pretty nice I have lots of goodies on it um, that I want to share with you the paper pad that I use again is the old friend by my mind's eye it has some um, foiled paper on it some specialty foil accents as they call it so really pretty and um, I did two six inch pinwheels two five inch and um, two four and then two three inch to make the um, make it as uh, bushy as I could the bottom I layered some lace and uh, one round of lace and then I used another over the top of it and then I have a um, art eye cake hanging from the bottom just something you know my daughter said something like um, some prayer beads but <laughs> we're not gonna go there so I thought this would be really cute so um, you can see some of the details um, I covered the front of the pinwheel attachment with gold paper and then I went on top of it with these beautiful uh, flowers I'm not sure where I got them from it may be bling for me bling for you but I'm not quite sure here is some beautiful wedding flower sprays from Hobby Lobby that I just kind of put throughout um, these are some sprays that I've gotten in a rack um, you can also get these at Hobby Lobby so I have some gold ones and some white ones throughout the bouquet some peach flowers and then I took this chain here and just kind of drizzled it all around hot glued it in certain spots and that chain is from these um, trim cans that you can get from Hobby Lobby they made by the paper studio um, it has some really cool trims in here so if you have it I suggest you get in there and pull them out and use them throughout your projects so basically that was it I um, kind of shoved these little sprays throughout just to kind of hide some spots on the top of it I put a Jolie's flower just to hide some of the when you look down in there you can see how it's all put together the first thing I did was I um, gathered it all how I thought it would you know make a really pretty shape and as I held it close I had my daughter uh, tape it with some of that packaging tape and then we taped it all the way down and then I cut it at a certain point and then I began to uh, lace use a string of lace of one cream lace all the way around I hot glued it I pinned it and then I went back with this really pretty light light um, like a vintage trim peach trim and uh, made the um, handle of it so you can see that's one of the um, six inches and then that is a probably a five inch so I think it came out really good you know I don't know how long she's going to keep this um, she's gonna have her own bouquet when she does um, walk down the aisle if it's even a aisle walking down ceremony I'm not sure she may say you know what <laughs> I'll use this so and that would be fun too so I just wanted to come on and show you guys this um, fun pinwheel bridal bouquet that I used using the old friend paper pad from my mind's eye a couple of sprays from Hobby Lobby and some trims from the paper studio so thanks again for watching I hope you all try it bye now